Leo Linda and Alberta. I'm Nan Nguyen, and this is a beautiful mural. You can't miss it when you're driving down M here near Rio Linda Boulevard. It was a two year long project. We were here when they started, and it's all about bringing the community together. And it goes all the way around. We get the chance this morning to meet some of the famous faces on here. The first one right here at this corner we showed her earlier. Look at that's Doodle. Perfect match, isn't it? Doodle's owner right here is Kelly. Kelly, what made you, because people had to contribute to be a part of this mural, why did you personally decide, you know, I want, I want Doodle's face up here? Um, she's an important part of my life, and she came from Rio Linda, and that's why I jumped at the chance. Community, it brings it all together, and this actually makes people talk. It does. We were talking about it's like such a conversation piece. So I want you to go down. We have a couple more. Down at the end, we have Lady and Michael. So you can see Lady up there. She's a German Shepherd. She's five this year. And the, the neat thing, though, is like we're showing a couple of the dogs that are here with us. But this is also a chance for a lot of pet owners to memorialize their dogs. That's where we have, we have Charlie here. Charlie had Max. This is Max right here. He was a German Shepherd mix. What was it? Can you tell me the story about Max and how you decided to put him up? Oh, well, Max, we had Max for a long, long time. He was actually, we found him running loose on Watt Avenue, and another lady had him, and, and I was taking a dog that had been hit to the vet that he was running with, and we ended up keeping Max, and he's a wonderful dog, and I had him for uh, 15 years, and he he was getting old, and, and things were not working well, and, and in the spring of 2014, he he reached the point where I had to bring him in to Dr. Henry, and, and Dr. Henry's been Max's vet for his whole life, and, and we had to euthanize him. Well, then in the fall of that year was when this project started and I thought oh what a great idea I could put Max up there and then every day as I drive down the road there's Max. No so real quick because you're talking about Dr. Hendry. Dr. Hendry you've been practicing for 23 years what has it been like to have this piece up here now? Oh it's beautiful um, when the uh, Mike and the artist came and approached me about it and the concept of having clients pay to have their animals put on there to memorialize them. Um, it was a, a very different idea, but um, it's developed over the two years, and uh, we actually have people we couldn't get up there because so many people were interested. It was such a great project, and it's, um, you know, we're, we're a very small town and a very, very small one-doctor practice, and this is um, really um, personalizes it for us and um, brings attention to it, and everyone in the community really likes it. Amazing. Now, before we go really fast, Earl, 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 hurry. Earl, Earl. Earl. Earl is uh, the mascot for the country fair, which is how this all started. Earl stands for Alberta and Rio Linda. And so that's happening in a couple weeks. This is all a, pro a pro part of the uh, Rio Linda country fair, and it's about bringing the community together. So I just wanted to toss that in there because everybody's wondering what the chicken's about. That's what the chicken's about. That said, I wasn't wondering we're going to turn it back over to you guys. Earl getting a little handy there, frankly. Yeah. All right. Bit. Looks like fun. This is a great mural, though. I love that. I love that. Great idea.